Hey all, Altarian here with another Eagle Moss review. Today we'll be taking a look at the uh, Krenum Temporal Weapon Ship. Uh, this is issue number 22 in Eagle Moss's Star Trek Starships line. And it is from uh, arguably the best episode of Voyager, Year of Hell. Uh, and it is a very, very cool looking ship and it's definitely one of Eagle Moss's better ones. And again, yet another example of an obscure ship that only appeared in, in one or two episodes that they're doing for this line. So it's, it's a very, very cool ship. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it. It has a lot of nice little cool uh, paint details on it. It has a nice little texture looking to it. So we'll take a look here, going from the front to the back. It's kind of the same uh, across the board. As you can see, a lot of the nice little uh, textured panel details on here. A lot of the nice little subtle paint job on this thing. It is very, very nice. Um... And there's the ball here in the middle. Uh, it's also very back heavy. Uh, this whole chunk back here is all die cast, so it's very back heavy. Uh, so when you sit it on its stand, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, you have to have it on there a certain way for it to, to not fall uh, backwards. But there's the back here. The engines, I'm guessing, is what's on the back here. Some nice little blue paint there. Uh, and like I said, it's pretty, pretty universal, uh, the paint app on this thing. And it's pretty good. I don't really have any issues with the paint on this. And the sculpt, as far as I can tell, is is spot on. Um, the blue here, I thought it was purple in the episode. I don't remember it being this blue color. Um, but, because like I said, I remember it being purple. Uh, but, you know, it's not too big of a deal. And then we can look down the cannon of the weapon, or the barrel of the weapon. Uh, like I said, it's a very, very cool ship. Uh, I'm very happy they made this because Year of Hell is one of my favorite Voyager episodes. And it's regarded as one of the best episodes of Voyager uh, made. At least I believe it is. I haven't really seen any complaints about Year of Hell. Uh, but diecast to uh, plastic. Uh, again, the back. This bit, I feel, is the only diecast on this thing. I don't really think there's any more diecast. I think the rest of it is all just plastic. Uh, but yeah, this whole back bit is, is metal. Uh, it's how they did the stand I thought was pretty cool, where you have to sit it on the ball. Uh, I thought that was a really, really cool way to, to do the stand for this thing. And it makes sense, there's really no other way you could do the stand. I mean, you could make it back mounted and, and mount it onto one of these things, one of the little wing things here. But I like how they did the ball. It sits on there really well. I'm assuming this is the way it goes, because this is the only, uh, way that it doesn't fall. If you put it on here this way... Like I said, with it being so back heavy, it just kind of falls like that. Um, I mean, it seems to fit in there a bit better like this, but I don't really have any issues with it falling backwards when it sits in there like that. So uh, the stand is really cool. No issues with it falling off or it being wibbly or anything like that. Uh, it sits in there pretty well. Uh, I'm very happy with this. Like I said, issue 22 in Eagle Moss's Star Trek Starships line. And that's really all that I have to say about this guy. Like I said, it's a really nice one. I would definitely recommend it for 20 bucks. And that's that's pretty much all I have to say about him. So uh, I'll be back here on Wednesday with a review of the NECA 2014 Godzilla. A uh, 6 inch tall, 12 inch head to tail figure. I'll be back here on Wednesday with that. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.